Welcome to this week's weather report. I'm Dr. Robin McKay. You are in the actualization zone, or if you're not, you're over on YouTube and you should totally come and join us in the actualization zone on Facebook. We will put the link in the show notes, or you can just head over there and type in actualization zone into your search bar and we will come right up. So I have a couple of announcements before we dive into this week's weather report in the Akashic Records. One of them is that I'm actually teaching level one of the Soul Journeys Method Akashic Records training at the end of the month, October 29th and 30th. It's for psychologically mature, intuitive leaders who are ready to open up to new layers of wisdom, new layers of truth, new layers of love, and really start to change their lives for the better in a very short period of time. If that's something that you're interested in, we're going to put the link to the show no- link in the show notes, excuse me, so you can join us. And let's see what else do we have. So we've got the Akashic Records training coming up. I have two new ways that you can work with me if you're new to my world. One way is through a three session money package where we are going to be downloading some new sacred money codes, highest potential codes, and some other frequencies from the Akashic Records that expand your capacity to receive and hold more money in your business. So if you are a spiritual entrepreneur or if you are a leader in tech or healthcare and you're intuitive and you want some support on the whole money issue the whole money issue that a lot of us still are struggling with, maybe not struggling with, but what I've said recently is that in order to really deeply actualize our greatest hopes, dreams, and desires, we have to be fully funded. And a lot of the people that I work with tell me that they are not fulfilling their financial potential. So the, um, the money codes that we're downloading in that mini package are going to support you and your great work in the world to be able to, as I said, receive and hold more money in your business. So that's one way. And then I'm also doing Akashic Records forecasting for your business. So excited about these things. Everything that I'm doing, have you noticed there's a theme here around the Akashic Records? And this is something that was such a game changer for me in my life, in my business five years ago when I started really deeply studying and working in the records for myself and for my clients as well. And it's just, I've really been guided in the last few months to really start focusing on that more publicly. So that's what I'm doing here. So the uh, Akashic Records forecasting for your business is where we're going to help you seal any money leaks and also find your next 100K in your business for next year. See what your business wants to offer next year, see the pricing, Um, and really get tuned in deeply to aligning with your business's mission, vision, and purpose, which should be in alignment with your mission, vision, and purpose. We'll put the links in the show notes to those as well. Now, on with the show, you are here for the weather report. And you all know at this point that I don't report on the actual physical weather. Although I will say here in Arizona, yesterday I wore socks and boots rather than open-toed sandals or flip-flops. It was cold. It was cool enough to do that. I think it was a high of 75 yesterday. So um, I know relative to everybody else, it's still really warm, but down here it's socks and boots weather. How fun is that? So today in your weather report, we are going to start, I'm using the Akashic Tarot again by Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. This is a good deck, especially because of all the work I'm doing in the Akashic Records and talking about that more, I wanted to bring this in. And if you're uh, here with me live, say hi, so I can say hi back. If you're watching the recording, let me know that too, so I can come back in and see how you're doing. But this week, so this week we have a new, there's an Ascended Master who we're gonna be working with. Where is the Ascended Master? Hilarion. And Hilarion, this is very interesting because Hilarion is the Ascended Master who is associated with reason, with logic, with science, with thinking. And remember in the actualization zone, we're here because we're intelligent and we're intuitive. 
you know, on a very basic level, intelligence is just processing speed. It's how fast you figure things out, make sense of things and know what to do about them. And the way that the general intelligence is expressed is through our unique gifts, talents, and abilities, including intuition. So Hilarion, the Ascended Master, um, has really shown up today just as an encouragement to those of us who are intuitive and intelligent to remind us that while in the past the world has put a primacy on reason and logic, reason and logic have been the source of knowledge for many, many generations, we are effectively leaving that paradigm. We're leaving the paradigm where re reason and logic are supreme, and we are reestablishing or restoring the native intuition, wisdom, the soul's intellect as the rightful guide, the rightful leader of our world. And by our world, I don't mean the entire world, I mean your world, my world. When somebody steps into your world or when somebody steps into my world, they're gonna have a very different experience with reason and logic than they would if they step into somebody's world who's not also connected with their intuition, who's not also connected with their divine source energy. So I love the encouragement that Hilarion is bringing forward this week to remind us that the, the, the source of wisdom, the source of knowledge is an internal source. And it's long past the time that we outsource our knowledge. Of course, we're going to, of course, we're going to read books. Of course, we're going to find teachers. Of course, we're going to continue to research. Of course, we are. But one of the things that has shifted is where are we vetting that information? How are we vetting that information? Is somebody else vetting that for us? Is somebody else saying that this is true? Or are we turning inward to our own Akashic records, to our own source of truth, love, and light? Because one of my teachers, actually the, the founder of the Soul Journeys Method, has said over and over again, she says, truth has a frequency. And when you are attuned to the frequency of truth, you can very quickly decide what's true and what's not true. Even if other sources are saying that something is true, it may not be true for you. So in that way, Hilarion, and my message is today is to start turning back inward, reconnecting with your own source of truth, making sure that that, sort, that connection with truth, the frequency of truth is unaffected and un unbothered by the world around you. So staying connected with all that is with your connection with God. And finally, the other thing that comes through with when we t connect in with Hilarion is this, that, you know, the God of the universe, the God who created all that is fully approves of you and your work, the work that you're meant to be doing in this, in this world how you're meant to be contributing. Now, you may not be doing the work exactly that you're meant to be contributing. You may not be fully embodied in that work, but the God of the universe does approve of the work that you're meant to be doing. The sooner that you realize that and come to terms with that in your own heart, the easier it is for you to be fully expressed in your mission, your vision, and your purpose. And that, again, to get to this next card, I know we spent some time on that one, but to get to this next card is going to really bring in a sense of balance, a sense of balance into your life. So balancing reason and intuition. Now that that's gonna feel weird because for so long, for so many generations, as, as I've said, the, the primacy of reason and logic has been so pronounced in our world that bringing intuition back into balance can sometimes feel like you're ignoring reason and logic for the sake of intuition, but actually what you're doing is bringing intuition into balance with it. So naturally you're going to be more focused on in intuition, wisdom, a spiritual intelligence, and energetic knowing. 
that may fly in the face of what conventional reason and logic would, would tell you. Nothing wrong with that. But that sense of balance is really going to be something that comes into play this week. So if you are somebody who's in healthcare or in tech, where there is, there continues to be this primacy of reason and logic, what I want you to just think about and remember is that stories, the sales are in the stories, story, stories sell. So if you're trying to sell an idea, if you're trying to sell a new direction, or if you're a spiritual entrepreneur and you're simply wanting to sell your programs and services, remember the stories are in the sale. The, I said that backwards. The sales are in the stories. And the reason that comes up around balance is because the stories are connected with our intuition, with our source of all, it, all that is. So tell your stories. And that's a beautiful way to get reconnected with your own intuition, with your own imagination, and to connect in with the imagination of other people as well. Then we have, let's see, then we have the scribe. Here's the scribe. And we also have, I think she fell on the floor. The Archangel Gabriel fell on the floor a second ago, but the scribe and the Archangel Gabriel are the, the, um, the energies of communication, written communication, spoken communication, finding a mentor, working with a mentor or a teacher who is, has been infused with the wisdom that you desire for yourself. It's not that you take that wisdom from the teacher. It's that the teacher can activate that in you. So this week, and for actually the rest of the month, actually start looking for and wondering about just being curious about where's, where's the teacher? Where's my teacher? They always say when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And certainly I have had that experience in my own lifetime and again. So that's something to start paying attention to when it comes to your career path, when it comes to your work, start looking for the teacher who's going to be supportive supportive of you and your developing and re-accessing your own wisdom and intuition. And then these guys came up the other day, I think last week too, the loving elementals. So when we think about the elementals, we think about the forces of nature. So you can think about the wind, the water, the earth, the fire, um, the wood. There are all kinds of sources of the elementals in nature. I see them as etheric beings as consciousness. You may see them just simply as the natural elements. However you see them, the invitation again is to welcome them into your experience. And the best way to welcome the elementals into your experience is to get outside, get in the sunshine, feel the wind on your face, put your feet in the grass or on the ground, lay on the grass but get yourself connected with the, with the elementals, with the, with the sources of nature that are true. You know, in all the things that are going on in the world, there are so many opportunities to be misled or to have your consciousness hijacked. And one of the things that I feel is very important is that we guard our, conscious, guard our consciousness. And in part, the guarding your consciousness means being able to distinguish or differentiate what's real from what's not, what's real from what's an illusion. And to me, there's nothing more real than what's in nature. I was praying about that one time. I had an existential crisis earlier this year, really, truly, like I was really, I'll, I'll tell you, it's a story for another time. But what I will say is that when I was praying about my own understanding of what was going on in the world, what the guidance was, was trust anything that's green. You can trust nature, but you have to look for the green things. You have to look for what's real, even in nature. And so in my backyard, I've got a Mexican lime tree. They're little tiny limes. I think I'll post this in the actualization zone so y'all can see it, but they're little tiny limes that are about this big and they turn yellow. So they look like lemons, but my Mexican colleagues and friends tell me that they are actually Mexican limes. So we have this tree that's in full fruit mode. It's a mature citrus tree, which is very unusual. They take a long time to come to fruition. But here we have this Mexican lime tree and it has, I'll bet I've, I've picked up, I'm going to say 200 
200 limes from it in the past three weeks, maybe more. And I've been sharing them with my friends and I've been putting them on my countertop to remind me of the abundance of nature. But here's the thing about them is that they're real. You can't, you can't, they're not an illusion. They're not something that somebody else made up or, you know, put on the screen in graphics or anything like that. They're real. So you have to look for things that are real this week. And the best place to start is with the elementals in nature. And that, let me just tune in and see if there's anything else for us today. So the last thing that comes through, I just want to return to Hilarion, the Ascended Master that I referred to at the beginning. And one of the things that he is conveying to me is to remember that you're not here on your own or by yourself, that there are myriad non-physical guides, teachers, Ascended Masters like him who are here to be supportive of you. Now, the way to get the clearest channel, the way to get the clearest form of communication from these benevolent beings who are here to be supportive of you is to make sure that your frequency is as clear as possible. Your receiver, your antenna, your intuition is as clear as possible. And the best way to do that is to get yourself attuned to the Akashic Records. And so this is Hilarion's invitation to you to join me for the Akashic Records Certification Level 1 training. Um, yeah, he's just saying that the source of all information is inside of you. And because of how we've been, um, how we've been raised or programmed, in our culture and in our society, we have been outsourcing our knowledge for generations. And now is the time to reclaim your own source of knowledge, your own source of knowing, to be able to discern truth from illusion and to be able to discern true light from false light. And the best way to do that is through is vetting everything through the Akashic Records, which is part of the training that you receive when you go through the Akashic Records Level 1 certification program. So again, if that's something that's on your heart, if that's something that has activated for you, um, go ahead and click the link. We will put that in the, in the show notes so that you have that available. And I will hope to see you in class. And I will see you in the actualization zone later today. <laughs>